Hi YouTube, Ryan here from SightHive.com. I'm about to run you through a little tutorial on how to teach you to turn a regular photograph into something that looks like it was drawn using an architectural rendering program or drafted on an architectural uh, rendering draft table. So what you do here is you take your photograph and the first thing you do is let's unlock the background. So you double click on that, and you hit OK. Head straight up to your filter menu and open up the filter gallery and you can see here I've already done this once so it's defaulted to stylize and glowing edges so for you guys you're gonna to want to open this up select glowing edges and then play around with these sliders until it looks like you've got some nice sharp clean bars here if you want to see the whole image open up view and do fit on screen and that'll render the whole thing so you can see what happens when you mess around with these bars cleans it up a little bit that's sort of nice edge brightness gives you sort of more clarity to the photo uh, and then edge width. I might want to knock that down a little bit just to give it a more technical look and uh, maybe a slightly wider. Yeah, let's leave it a bit wider. And I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to want to invert this. So I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Invert or Command I, whatever you're uh, more comfortable with and that flips it to look like that and you kinda get this nice dirty looking pencil-y feel in there too you can see right right in there right in there it looks like your palm was smudging that around up there that's kinda nice so I'm gonna leave that if you wanna knock that out you can use brightness and contrast maybe to to kill that or you can go in and even just manually erase it but I'm gonna leave it because I think it looks kinda nice and artistic that way uh, if I wanna make it look more hand-drawn and sort of get rid of these lingering photographic colors I'm gonna open up my hue saturation I did that uh, with a hot or sorry a shortcut but you can go to adjustments hue saturation take the saturation right down and now it looks like it was drawn with pencil now if you want to make this look like it wasn't drawn in pencil maybe with a uh, drafting program uh, like AutoCAD and then print it up you can actually go to your effects and put a color overlay of something dark blue and a screen on the blend mode and there you go look at that looks very architectural hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, yeah thanks a lot for watching my video